Hello, everybody. Hello. Hello. Welcome. It is now Toku Hero time. I'm Jack. I'm Enigma. Mochi. And question of the day, what is your favorite Taco Bell item? Dorito Crunch Wrap. Toilet paper. All, all correct answers, because you'll be needing all of them. Anyway, welcome to today's episode. Uh, we got some news, as always. Uh, Mochi, why don't you start us off? And quite a lot of it this week. Yes. Yep. Uh, all right, anyways, we're going to go in a little bit of reverse order this time for reasons that will soon become evident. Uh, this week was uh, San Diego Comic-Con 2023. Um, at which there was a memorial held for Jason David Frank by his daughter. Um, I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't look too much into it because, uh, I don't know. I didn't feel like there was a lot that could be, uh, no, found on him. Said, but you did mention that, uh, they reserved a spot for him, uh, in the Comic-Con, uh, panel. They put his, like, uh, Green Ranger helmet there. In his seat. Yeah. That's very yeah. nice. Um, That's very sweet, yeah. There is. There's not really a lot of documentation on it. I didn't really expect there to be. But it's said that it was about what you expect. It was just a memorial service. In a way. Would have been nice to be uh, there, but we're in non-San Diego. Yeah. I hope I've never been nice. to a, like a legit comic in my life. But, uh. Uh, yeah, that, there's really not that much to say about it. I just wanted to mention it. Yeah. Uh, I also so, see uh, I that they uh, did a thing ranged. here where they basically aged the Rangers by like 30 years and showing their designs for that. They they honestly look like an apocalypse yeah. ranger thing. Or at I think least that's basically the idea. Or at least they at least did. Uh, and Jason, and Kimberly, and Zach. Jason looks more apocalypse like than. Kimberly and the, uh, and the, uh, him. Zach, yeah. Zach, yes. Sorry, I forgot him for a hot minute. Yeah, Jason. Jason looks like he's. Jason looks like he's from The Last of Us. Does, yeah, he's. So yeah, is it implied? Is it does it does this imply that this is what Jason was looking like during uh, Forever and Always? Once and all, maybe. Once maybe. And always. Is that maybe? what's implying? Uh, maybe. The same would go with for Kimberly. Even though, like, her and Zach look like... Uh, they're, they're just sturdy. <laughs> I mean, 60? I don't know how old they're supposed to be. Uh, I but think this, it may be in, like, their... I think they probably... Considering how old they were in, like, the original show, canonically, they're probably, like, in their 40s. Yeah, I think 40, 50. <clears throat> maybe even 60 were... They were being extreme. Uh, I don't know what it is about this sketch, but the way they drew Zach's facial expression makes him look really weird. Yeah, I guess so. He just looks out of it. But in a funny way. Yeah, he's looking pretty checked out. Yeah. Uh, I also see they're doing... Apparently uh, Zordon is a... Apparently Zordon what? Apparently, apparently Zordon is a villain in this comic. Oh. Yeah. Uh. Uh, hopefully that makes sense in uh in context. Cause... So much for his sacrifice. Oh, that'd yeah. be interesting. Oh, that'd be uh, interesting. What if they, what when they re, what if they when they tried to reform him that some of the evil from what was the big lizard guy called Argon? What was he? There there were oh yeah. Was it Argon? Who the hell was that guy? I think so. Okay, a uh, big fish piranha man monster. I gun call him Dargon. Why have he just fused us with Par our Dargon's evil energy when they tried to like revive him back? You know, a similar fuck up. Yes, but it's just rage, like you know? even if Zordon was a villain, like what would he do to you? He's just gonna like sit sit there in his tube ominously. Right. He's not really a threat. I don't know. Maybe he commands a legion of evil. 
I forgot the robot's name. Alpha. Evil Alphas. A legion of evil Alphas. They're called Betas. <laughs> They're called Sigmas. True. No. Truly, the, the main villain is the Beta Mills. <laughs> you imagine. Oh, geez. Or even worse, oh, yeah. the Sigma yeah, I'm Mills. Stop. I'm just... I'm gonna stop both of you before this continues any further. <laughs> Jack, Jack continues it. I just went on my went with my own thing. He he just put more oil. And I will continue it. Don't try me. Uh, yeah. All right. Yeah, but this seems to be what they're doing uh, for the new comics now. Are we some of the new comic runs? Yeah. Not sure if I'm into it, but I guess we'll see. Yeah, I see that there's a uh, 30th anniversary special coming out, and they're doing something called Ranger Academy. Well, I don't know how to feel about yeah. that. Like the idea of like a cat, like a canopy to become a ranger. Like, doesn't everyone know that like actual experience of being a ranger helps more? Isn't that technically what uh, SPD is? No, that's a police. Yep. Force. That's a police force. Well, well, there, well, it would imply that it being a police force, there's a section for an academy. Okay. Yeah. Okay, you got me there. Was so, like this seems more like a university than like a police force academy thing. Actually, from the images here, it looks like uh, uh, Power Rangers Harry Potter Force. Yeah, it's a, it has like a university magic school type beat that, rather than like whatever SPD did. You know what I mean? Yeah. Still the same general concept though. So yeah, fair enough. You got me there. But yeah, uh, uh, and I think we also uh, mentioned I don't this. Really? Uh, go. Hmm? On. No, you go ahead. Uh, I was gonna say, yeah. and I think we mentioned this last week, but they're also doing a, a comic for Hyper Force. Oh yeah, yeah, they're doing that. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that comes out soon. I do want to read that. So if you're fans of uh, Hyper Force out there, uh, hope you enjoy that. Yeah, I think that was a DMP game. It is. Fun. I'm in support. I'm su I'm in support of it just because I find it hilarious that black nerd comedy is actually canon now. Yep. Okay. <laughs> we also got a new Power Rangers uh, T-shirt that implies that red, uh, yeah. red, yellow, and green here are the main characters. Because like, it just doesn't like it's featuring pink, black, and blue. It's like they're like non main characters Ooh. in this show. Okay. Yeah, it's like right there. Okay. And uh, we also have uh, uh, this... a figure for a uh, Zero Ranger 5. Yeah. And there's also a putty there for some reason. Yep. Was this, was this said to be like Lightning Collection or just something different? It does look. No, this is 3 0. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, it's a lot more expensive it's a lot bigger and it's uh i can't imagine because well, like basically it, kind of like a hot yeah i can see it's kind of like a hot toys thing. type thing yeah i can see they, they covered up the joints with so now it looks more solid mm-hmm mm, looks nice i gotta uh, get it though. i can't i can't afford it anyway so neither can i <laughs> likewise uh, I do find it kind of weird that they just showed off Zio. Just, I mean, just red here. I mean, there was a they, did, they did. Yeah, but it's, that's all right, just completing the previous line of MMPR. Because when they debuted MMPR, it was uh, red, blue, and pink, I think. So this kind of makes me wonder if they're just going to do Tommy's other forms and then call it quits. Maybe. Unfortunate. People don't care about uh -huh. care. They don't care about and care enough about treating your Zach. Uh, da -da -da. and that should um, be on three Power Rangers, unless you have something new to add. Uh, do we have anything about uh, Cosmic I Fury at all? Nope. No. It. Yeah, we just. That's said just gonna have to wait until the show comes up. Yeah, it's going on silent. I mean, there's toys, but we already mentioned those. Yeah. 
so I guess we're now on to uh, Sentai. Sure. Yeah, uh, sure. We weren't able to watch episode 20 of uh, King Ogre today. Yeah, I wasn't available. It's our yes. it's what we use. Our, our um, completely completely legal method of watching it didn't pan out. So, uh, just predictions. Uh, I'm sure it's a I'm sure it's a solid episode. I'm pretty sure. Well, episode 19. I'm it's, I I'm sure Gear will do the thing. Probably, yeah, stop no, sure it happened. Not the preview, like episode nineteen was like that was, that was indeed a cool thing. So episode twenty would would probably just like follow up on like the whole era versus Raculous thing and just like knee kneecap it there, and then follow the aftermath. This go this is this is going about as well as that one episode where. It was just me and Jack, and neither one of us had seen the King Oger episode for that week, and we were just like lying, and making the other the other one think that we saw. <laughs> I mean, at that okay, that's like me too. It was just like it was just like five straight minutes of us going, "Yep, that sure was a King Oger." Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, uh. That is sure. That is definitely a King Oger. Definitely. Do you, do you not even try to gaslight yourselves, really? You didn't say, like, oh, Gira defeated Raculous with a giant beetle. You didn't, say, you didn't make up shit as well, you went along. Neither, it was, like, five minutes. Well, no, neither of us had seen it. But we were just, like, oh, we're there, the other person, we we're each going, like, oh, he's going to be mad if if we find out we haven't seen it. So we were just lying until we both admitted it. <laughs> Which, that's how I recall it. Pretty much. You could have you you made it funny by making shit up. Just try to gaslight yourself so they like talk about what you in the episode. Gera came up to Reckless and just bitch slapped him off the throne and uh and yeah, and he got all the bitches the end. There's only two bitches. As of right now anyway. Maiden list. Three <laughs> no three three of them, including Kagaragi's sister. Did they get married? Oh jeez. That'd be interesting. Sorry, Kagaragi, I have your sister now. Jesus Christ, Jack, don't. <laughs> uh, I do. I do see here and on this, the notes that there's is, uh, looks like some looks like uh, some kind of figure in a prototype stage. Oh, oh yeah, this is like the live Robo. Yeah, it's like some uh, yeah, alternative Destiny. Yeah, it's like a uh, Super Mini Plot remake of the live Robo. Yeah, I, but uh, SMP ooh. has already made a normal live lo- robo. If you remember um, SIC figures for Common Rider, this is basically the SMP equivalent of that. Yeah, it looks it looks as good as the original ver- version. Nice. Yes. Yeah, Currently left colored. Yeah. <laughs> Give us the Rhino mm. and Bull next. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, what was the carrier called? Carrier for that season. Carrier, yeah, the carrier mech. The carrier. Um, look that up. Okay. It's called. It's called like. I'll look White that up. Shark or something. Machine uh-huh. Buffalo. Machine Buffalo. Oh, it's Buffalo. That's yeah, right. it looks nothing like a buffalo though. Uh, I mean, the dolphin doesn't really look like a dolphin either, so. No, I mean, no, it does try to look like a dolphin. This just straight up did, didn't try. Lazy motherfucker. Yeah, kind of a weird thing, but the dolphin reminds me of a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh card. Um, hold on, let me try to remember the name of it. Like, uh, it looks like a dolphin thing can... reminds you of a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Because <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh ripped off Okutatsu, huh? For like a hot minute. Uh, well, yeah, no, I, get, I at least get what the dolphin was trying to do. It's trying to do, like, oh, a double dolphin thing. But it's like, it has to be legs, so it kind of looks weird regardless. Okay, so it, rem- it reminds me of the uh, card Super, Super Quantal Mech Beast uh, Grand Pulse. Grand Pulse? What the fuck? Hold on. I'll get oh, you got it. It sounds like a finisher. That sounds like a Gogo 5 mecha. It kind of does. 
Yeah, like Grand Liner. Grand Pulse. Okay, I'm curious what this thing looks like now. Show it. Hold on. I'm getting the uh, picture now. Thank you very much. It is literally just that card. But I'm I'm sure the Met came first. Yeah, that, 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 looks, that looks like it. Yeah, XYZ. This came away after. Yeah. I can barely read the text of it. Okay. It it's a it's a more modern Yu Gi Oh card. It's a, like a whole whole. Yeah, it's like novel. a shiny thing going on, right? Yeah, it, it's like the effects like a whole novel. That's just modern Yu Gi Oh for you, so I just ignore it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I just just actually make sure. And they were roommates. Oh my god, they were roommates. Anyway. Uh, why don't we just, uh, spice up a little bit and talk about some Ultraman? They're gonna be Ultraman Blazer manga. Yeah. That's it. It's gonna debut on July 28th. Hey, by the way, did you watch episode 3 right. of Blazer? Yes. Yay, no. okay. Oh. Oh, well, what do you, what do you think of uh, episode 3 of Blazer, Jack? Uh, pretty neat. Um, uh, get, I thought the... Like, okay, so I don't I don't know like Ultraman lore and like how they communicate, but it seems like he only this Ultraman like communicates in grunts. So he's just touching a monster who is like extremely hot and he's going Acha 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 Okay, I can explain that actually. Okay, please. Uh, oh you meant okay, literally hot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, re- literally. Uh, okay, basically with Blazer, compared to like other Ultraman like, they do communicate with grunts. That's just how they sound like to everyone else. But they can't speak English to, like, you know, their hosts. But with Blade Summer specifically, he's more of a the primitive caveman equivalent hunter of a Ultraman warrior. So he's, got, he's literally going going unga bunga on all of us with some minor influence from Gento himself. Unga bunga monster kill. More or less, yeah. Uh, I I think the All I'm team... hearing is that there was a missed opportunity. To... All the I'm hearing is that there's a missed opportunity to call this season Ultraman Return to Monkey. <laughs> Ultraman Monkey. Honestly, that would be more fitting with something like, I mean, there's been two past Ultraman where it's like Ultraman the Ultimate Hero. That was like in Australia or New Zealand mm-hmm. or some shit. So that would be fitting. <laughs> No, I'm just uh, picturing an ultra with like a gigantic boomerang that's like twice his height. That'd be hilarious. Uh, I think the closest thing to that would be the the, the, the light ring attack. Is that the attack where they the pull like their right. little their little head crown off and throw it? Uh, let's see. Because I think that's like an attack they do, right? Trying to find it. Um, otherwise, um, yeah, the uh, cast scene's pretty fun. Uh, they're they're just kind of, they're just kind of being friends and learning, and now they have a uh, and now they have a dragon that they pilot. Yeah, it's definitely not Mechagodzilla Kiryu version. I, I guess. Oh, yeah, I do like. I do like how they they establish the guard actually preparing for monster casualties. It's really nice, really good. Yeah. Let's them um, really show their characters off a little bit. So, so uh, funny and- thing. Um, so when I was watching, I was watching the English dub, but the yeah. episode I was watching was also having the Japanese subtitles on it. Right. So- so oh, I'm God. I'm comparing the English dub to what the Japanese subtitles are, and I, I don't know if it's just like a language thing, but the uh, subtitles seem less cheesy than the actual English uh, dubbing. Oh yeah, that's definitely a, a language thing because like, like the general thing is that whatever we say can't be easily translated to Japanese without making not without being like nonsense. So they have like to like alter a bit yeah, to make that's... it sound like you know logical sense to them. Well, yeah, that's... just as a general rule, people. going from language to language in most in most yeah. cases, especially with uh, an Asian language going into literal English translations, that that struggles quite a bit. 
Uh, yeah. Whatever yeah. you say in your language is probably not going to be as impactful in someone else's language. Yeah, yeah, yeah especially when. Yeah, especially when you have a language like Japanese where it's all context based. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Because, like, if you go and listen to, like, uh, say, a Japanese song with uh, real time lyric translations, none of it rhymes and none of it makes a lot of sense. That's because it's being very roughly translated. So imagine if you watched this in Japanese and understood Japanese, it would feel a lot better. But, like, for that, we got, like, the English dubs, and I think the English dub sounds pretty good, yeah, all things considered. Yeah, it's perfectly fine, and even the dialogue, like, it, it's, like, it's the same, th they're saying the right thing, it's just phrased in a way that seems really kind of cheesy, in my opinion. Cheesy? Well, yeah, it's gonna be always gonna be cheesy, but I, it sounds more ch natural to me than the Power Rangers, where it they talk. That's just how I feel about it. Go, go, Overall, Ultra think... Man. Never say that again. To, never say that again to be into my non-skeletal face again. When, whenever you, uh, whenever you step on a, a twig in the past, whenever a time traveler steps on a twig. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> when a time traveler steps on a twig. Right. Fair. Well, I think I enjoyed the little fight scene a bit. It's a, uh, it's good to see that Ursh Garrett got most of the action in the fight. Most of, because most of the time in the past is normally like, you know, you know short lived with the Mecha. At least with the first battle. Yeah. If the English dub is actually as good as you say it is, I will be very good. reasonably impressed because I'm used to. Because I'm used to the English dubs not being great on Toku shows. Oh no! Was Ultra Man? Uh, they is the only one I know. Is a is a bit more natural. It sounds nice. They actually tried to sync it up with the lips, while also while also trying to make it make it make sense. Nice. The only dub I ever watched was um, or ever tried to watch more accurately was Armor Heroes because I couldn't find English subtitles for it, so I was kind of forced to, and it just sounded like the same cadence on which the narrators. On Sesame Street speaking. Was it so like, like what? Hey Elmo. It's like a uh, like how you used to talk to a child or some shit. It, yeah, you know, if you ever heard like a kindergarten teacher talking to a very young child, you you know the tone I'm talking about. Yeah. Hmm. Uh, yeah, honest, I, I, got honest, a, I got an idea. On a uh, scale to from yeah. uh, Funimation to a uh, four kids dubbing, uh, how bad was it? I think it might actually be the first thing that exists below four kids. <laughs> That's impressive. I don't think it makes sense because uh, yeah, when man. was the, when was the English stuff for Armor Heroes? Like the end of, like, I don't uh, actually remember the year. I think, I think it was early twenty tens. Oh. Okay, that explains it. Because no, most most English dubs of of Eastern media is normally trash around that time. Well, and like if it's like mid twenty tens, like yeah. generally it's fine. It's really like early two thousands when it's a bit rough. Yeah, either gonna yeah, be true. trash or just okay. It's adequate. Although to be to give credit where credit is due, most uh, English translations of Eastern media in the early two thousands accidentally spawned comedy gold, whether they knew it or not. Okay, you got me there. They didn't uh, create good memes. Uh, I mean, we we've all we've all watched you, Gail. We we all know the fantastic lines that come from that. I don't remember those. And more lines, importantly, so. we've all seen. And most importantly, we've all heard of the uh, Ghost Stories English dub. <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, yes, the classic comedy gold. Honestly, I think I th I think I remember them saying that they had like. They kind of, they they were just kind of allowed to do whatever, uh, uh, just as long as they kept with the plot. Yeah, pretty much. Um, I was actually watching a um, panel on YouTube with uh, one of the voice actors from Ghost Stories, and she she said that when they were dubbing that, their direction was just just keep the basic premise, otherwise do whatever the hell you want. 
Yeah, yeah, that's a that's a that came with hilarious results. And they and they just decide Actually, to um, uh, just do that. Uh, well, actually, that those bad mistranslations actually inspired one of my favorite series on U- on YouTube. Uh, I'll try to find the videos later, but there was this one uh, channel that would make I, I don't know how to describe, but, but you know how like in Pokemon they turned a rice ball into a donut. Yeah, that's yeah. basically what they would do. They would just make like a donut as described in Pokemon, so it would just be like Onigiri but with jelly inside of it. And then um, a like a normal plain donut with like fish paste inside of it. I love donuts, especially so just... jelly filled ones. Hey, just, why fish paste? Oh boy, I can't. Why would you do that because to a that's donut? What, what's put in? Because that's what was put in onigiri, so they would put do it like as it was described in the show, and then the reverse way. He I don't think crazy. it lasted for a merry episode. Or what was the anime where they turned someone's cigarette into a lollipop? One Piece. One Piece. Thanks. One Piece, that's what it was. Yeah. Which they actually <laughs> fixed whenever Funimation picked up the dub. They just kept all the original stuff going on. I mean, we'll talk yeah. about One Piece more later. It was like, uh... I guess, like, Rappa was Ultraman's laser. I saw. I felt like the Ultraman fight was quick, but also kind of funny at the end, given that uh, they did explain why Terangular shot up that laser, like you know, it, it to release excess uh, energy. It's basically the equivalent of a, like a really volatile fart. So it's just like this awkward moment between <laughs> Laser and Terangular. Okay, I'm where just like, what? I'm not. Oh, I'm not, okay. Well, first of all, I'm just not very. <laughs> brushed up on Ultraman lore, so you can't just drop something new, something like this on me with that one. <laughs> yes, I can. I'll do it again. <laughs> oh, and uh, real quick for my for my One Piece fans out there, uh, we are all prepared for Aug- for August sixth. So that's the live what? action, right? <laughs> no. Oh, oh, Joy Boy. There's yes. a live action One Piece. Yes, they're making a live action uh, One Piece show. Yeah, looks good. Yeah, yeah. Actually, okay, when like, are we gonna learn that? Okay, so I d- I don't know how bad wait, this wait. is gonna be, but I will say the designs actually look relatively on point. Yeah, they made Luffy's uh-huh. rubber rubber body really unnerving. Pretty good. Like there, there is a few designs I mean, that anything... like unnerving in a good way, not unnerving in a janky way. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Um, pro- like, Mihawk is probably the best looking out of all of them right now. Uh, but, but otherwise, everybody actually does look relatively solid. Uh, Shanks, uh, they didn't really do well, but yeah. I've learned that they're trying to put a lot more detail to it. Like, some of the outfits are derived from, On like, the... in the... What? No, go ahead. All right. Uh, apparently, some of the outfits they'll do, that they'll use is derived from the co- uh, from the Vanka covers, like you know the, the drawn ones, the art ones. And with, in terms of the money, they're actually going to make it varies, like with how the Oda depicted them at some point. Yeah, they they actually seem to be doing it pretty faithfully. Uh, yeah, Roger lot- Roger looks perfect, actually. Roger also looks perfect. Yeah, there's a lot of attention to detail here. Appreciate it. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah. it may not actually be note, that bad, uh, but I'm I'm just going to wait for the reviews to come out before I even attempt to watch that. I'm going to jump into it. That's fair. I learned that um, apparently the the people that made Pacific Rim are going to be making a live-action Gundam adaptation. Oh, God. I mean, that'd be cool, but oh, oh no. I mean, if it's... I was like... If it's if it's by the people who are doing Pacific Rim, they may not that may not be that bad. Okay, look, important question: Is it gonna involve? Is it like the first the the people who did the first movie or the second movie? That's the question. Because well, everyone forget well, the second movie that did Pacific Rim. Yeah, but there's two movies. Well, by the, the first, 
people like the first movie more than the second movie, for good reason. Which I won't go over it. Well, anyway, it's kind of long. If you would let me talk, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, uh, hmm. The people, what I mean by people did Sir Grimm, I mean the people that did the robot designs and animation, not people who wrote the movies. Oh, okay. Oh, so nothing like the writers or anything. Right. Uh, right, okay, never mind. The robots are good, never mind. Yeah, uh, I feel like Gundam is one of the few animes that might work as an adaptation, because the only thing they really have in terms of unique designs is the suits that they wear, and the mecha, and mecha are generally pretty easy to turn into live action. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. They're but not you... easy as in their work goes into it, but they translate a little bit better, if you know what I mean. Yeah. I still need to watch you, Witch. At some point, I get apparently that I finished recently. I do hear it's good. I think that finished recently, yeah. as far as I heard. Uh, uh, I think like, I'm not yeah, sure. Yeah, did. Well, right. as far as I understand it, it, there's no point. There's it's like on pause, and there's no plan for future episodes, which basically means it's finished, but just doesn't have a finale, as such. Really? All right, whatever. That's weird. I, uh, uh, oh, well. but Anyways, yeah, we got uh, like, way off topic. Uh, yeah, yeah, so it's about Blazer. Uh, there's gonna be a figure rice standard, there's gonna be a standard figure rice figure for Ultraman Blazer along with Sekker and Zed. Uh, judging by the uh, the, the, the assembly parts here, I'm curious how the hell anyone's gonna do uh, the you know, the red and blue lines. So, there's like some of them are like really small. What do you guys what do you think? Mean? Like, look at the rails. Like, so, like the like some of the red and blue parts on Blazer looks like segmented, and on the rails it, impl- it kind of implies that. So it's like some of the parts are gonna be really, really tiny. I mean, he looks so good that, to me. Uh... No, look at the or look at the rails. Like some of the parts are really tiny, especially the the red and blue parts. Yeah, I heard you. Yes. I heard you the first time. I just don't understand. These rails are interconnected, so they're already like that in the package. I think. All right. Like some of them are, some uh, of them don't. Like it, they are. I'm just saying. Honestly, between the the SHF and the uh, figure eyes, the figure eyes actually looked a bit better. Honestly, if you want the figure eyes, that's probably going to be cheaper than the uh, SHF. Yeah, All probably, things considered, I mean, yeah, they're bigger, but, you know, which more cost-effective for you, you know? Well, yeah, you're saying you have to get a bigger figure for your money. That's what we care about. Fair enough. But, yeah, I don't know. I forgot if we already mentioned this. I just uh, figure our blazer, but he looks nice. Yeah. He does. Hmm. They're also making a Z and Decker, apparently. Yeah, Zad and Decker. Yeah, I mentioned that. I think. Uh, it looks uh, nice. Da, da, da. Oh, yeah. Something about Ultraman guy is super supreme. Okay, yeah, I can explain that this a bit. Like a pizza. Basically, okay, basically, there's been like this recent live <laughs> show for Ultraman, and they decided to like debut okay. Gaia on Super Supreme, which is basically a fusion of Ugl and Gaia Supreme forms. There's also going to be a figure for it. Looks neat. But yeah, okay. But I'm, just, I'm just looking through the images. Well, I'm recording the images too. So cool. I think it looks nice. So from what I hear, everyone's compared are saying this guy looks like uh, like a new generation hero, uh, like T, like Trigger and Decker. He doesn't look that too um, out of place with them either. True. Yeah. So I was like, it's a secretly new generation Gaia. Apparently, that's a joke mm-hmm. that's, going, that's been going around here. What do you guys think of it? It looks neat. Looks okay. And that's it for Ultraman now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hopefully Ultraman Blazer will still be consistently good. And now for the big one. Uh, 
So, do you want to like, go over Kamen Rider or Transformers next? Because the ter Transformers one is going to be long. Uh, we can go ahead and do Kamen Rider. Uh, let's go with Kamen Rider. Yeah, all right. we've already done all the Toku ones. We might as well finish it off. Fair enough. Uh, Kamen Rider Geeks episode 44. Yeah. Nago is back. Yeah, and he took her father's ID core and then was converted into her own ID core. Which, um, thanks to the intervention. Uh, confirm this for me. Is her did her ID core get recolored? No. No, it's still it's still the same colors. Yeah. Okay. For some reason, I thought it was a different color when she got it back. No. I mean, I don't blame you if you thought that, but no. But, but yeah, um, he did that. Yeah, uh, f the fancy armor looks really good on her. Yeah, it's a retool of um, mm -hmm. Tattle fan of the Tattle fantasy armor from Exade. I will have to say they they're gonna make like a revolve action figure for, of the fantasy stuff. Like you know, I had had people for Giago and Nago, blah blah blah. But it's like they they still have they still maintain the revolve on Mac gimmick for the fantasy armor, but the likely chance that we'll see it in the show is zero. Probably likely zero, maybe. Mm. Overall, uh, I think they I think the fights were good. I mostly like the battle between Tycoon and and Michinaga. I do want to say Michinaga. I do want to say yep. uh, Michinaga has. Kind of come a long way, hasn't he? Because in the episode, yeah, he's he, just going, I believe yeah. in Geats. Yeah, no, I think... Yeah, no, I think he grew quite a bit. Because, like, originally he just hated he, Geats and everyone's guts. But then, uh... Kind of got into his own during the Jimato Grand Prix, personally. Especially after he won, because he hung out with Geats and Geats for a time. And I think he grew, grew tolerant of him during that time. Given yeah. they have, oh, they have, like, the same goal now. So, so that's nice. And now we come to his, like, oh, we're f finally full circle with him. He believes in Geats and what he's trying to do. And is trying to bring back Tycoon, even though he's being a little idiot. Yeah, K was right kind of off the uh, deep end right now. And he was trying to bring him back. Um, we also realized that um, K kind of screwed up with his wish, because now... Instead of his sister being in the uh, knowledge tree that a uh, Nudge Sparrow made, uh, she's just straight up dead now. Yeah, that was like that was like Nudge Sparrow dead. Like she's tank, she's technically dead, but also technically alive when she was in the tree. But she's no longer there, and honestly, it's a double fuck up because of that. And the first one being that he didn't think he didn't think of the maniacs. I mentioned this before. When uh, reviving ev absolutely everyone who died during the, the, the Desire Grand Prix. Yeah, he brought in a, a lot of bad people. But, uh, yep. But yeah, episode 44 was uh, pretty solid, as always. I did think it was clever that Michinaga used the Revolve on to avoid the uh, Tycoon's attacks. Yeah, he's always been pretty smart about his uh, fighting style, I believe, by doing that. Yeah, he, yeah pretty tactical. Except for that one time where he failed to use propeller properly. What? Oh, well. He's probably... Michinaga is probably thinking of himself of why Ace didn't let him keep his power up. Ah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's a good question. Why didn't he keep, let him keep that? Or at least have a fe the fever buckle handy. Or just something instead of just him going minute. base zombie. Okay, that I just remind myself. Why did he not? Why did he go be zombie instead of like command twin buckle? He still has that. Your guess is as good as mine. Probably for the drama. Probably. Probably. Mm-hmm. Let's see. So uh, we have uh, a f we have a few things uh, going on with. Uh, Comrade with... outsiders. Um, Unfortunately, I... our. Our totally legal, totally legal way to like watch this shit. Uh, it has been really slow to update update the Kamen Rider Outsider stuff, so we had to really rely on like other other stuff. And we finally got the debut of Kamen Rider Zine and Bronze Drive. 
Uh, who's <clears throat> Bronze Drive? I think that's just uh, Bono. It's Bono? Is that his name? Yeah, Bono. Hmm. Like the, you know, Gold yeah. Drive. Yeah, I just think it's just straight up Bono again. Just Bronze. And, uh... Zine is, uh, what's his face from Decade? Dandano. It's, it's Dino. Sakurai Yuto from Kamarander Zeronos. Yeah. Which Yu-Gi-Oh card? I'm not gonna Game lie, or... when I read the tweet, oh, I, I wasn't, I was kind of squinting. My eyes hadn't adjusted because it was pretty early. And I just saw Common Rider Zine is Sakurai, and I was like, the Smash Brothers guy? <laughs> Mata Hero Sakurai is angry that you didn't play, that you didn't play the game correctly, so he's gonna beat you up as a Zine. Final Smash. I would be down for that, to be honest. I mean, Final Smash does sound like it could be a common rider finisher. It kind of does. Ichigo and Ichigo and Ultimate One. Hmm. But yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, um, but yeah, he's a Kamen Rider Zine for some reason. I assume it's explained in Outsiders. I haven't seen Outsiders. I think I can say with 100% confidence that absolutely nobody saw that coming. Yeah, no. Even like Tachibana came back. Uh, it's just himself. He's he's helping with helping Vieros for some reason. Sorry if you can't hear my dog. You're good. Yeah, the dog treats. Hello, Hazel. Yeah, I'll deal with her in a moment. Uh, Give her all the treats. Okay, yes. I think it's fine now, but I have to like deal with her just in case. Never mind, she's fine. Anyway, where were we? Uh, we oh, were yeah, talking about... about he's yeah, he's back as you know himself, just as Garen. He's up in zero nose for some reason. <laughs> Uh, in terms of, like, Zine himself, we do get shown how he uses the ride card. Because he uses both uh, the progress keys and the ride cards from Decade. Uh, and how he does it, it's just like, you know, the scanning thing. But and during the process, he destroys the ride cards. Most interestingly, the ride cards mm -hmm. themselves, uh, they don't have the Decade, the, the Rider logo. They have Zine's logo. So... Those are counterfeit as fuck. I just saw the uh, a scene where he's using um, he got... Sa Saber's final form sword. Yeah, cross Saber. Yeah. He got his cards off of Timu. He did. Yeah. That was about right. Dead or he made it himself. Uh, Who knows? Also, I was just like... Yo? Is it fair to say... That, that Zion is basically a common rider of the word Draken. If... Would that be Omazeo? I, I guess. I think that'd be closer to Omazeo, yeah. Hmm. True. Probably. Though I did like find like a tweet about that. Apparently, Veen mm -hmm. is gonna be as strong or stronger than Omazeo. <laughs> And I don't know how to feel about that. Uh, I, hope I don't he... even know how true that uh, is, but yeah. the idea scares me. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter because neither of them, not, not even both of them combined, are strong as Poppy. True. She'll keep the universe in balance. Ah, uh, yes. He has more Rider Force than God Maximum Mighty X. Even mm -hmm. though I feel like that's a complete lie. Poppy will defend us all. Yeah, she'll probably people mm -hmm. pop out. Probably people pop out to your grave. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, we got some uh, stuff with a. Uh, we have some. Good. I'm Rider Gotchard. Gotchard, yeah. Uh, we have yeah. a uh, quick teaser about it, and I will say the suit looks a lot better in motion. Oh yeah, definitely. That's the general yeah, thing those supposed to be too, really. But uh, yeah, it looks it looks really good. Yeah, I I'm now actually I'm really in love with the uh, design really... of it now. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, same. Yeah, he'll make sure really on the... I'm really... Yeah. I was gonna say I'm really feeling the color scheme on this one. Oh yeah. 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 yeah it's like it's Turquoise like good. And mm-hmm. Yeah, it's a good color color combo. How do you guys feel about his bike over there? By the way. Uh, you have the uh, image very small here. Uh, whoops. Yes. Just go to like the link. Okay. Yeah. Uh. Okay. Sorry, I think I messed it up there. I'll just send you it. It's fine. Yeah, I don't know what his what his what his bike is supposed to be here. It looks like yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That it looks like this cloth thing. Looks a little bit over here. Yeah, I think it's like all I can really tell from this bike is that there's like this claw-looking appendage on the side. It kind of looks like if. Uh, common Rider Sagark turned into, turned himself into a bike. <laughs> what if it's a lobster? Yeah. Lay just look at it closely. You just look at this like freaky lobster thing. I have no clue. It's probably Maybe being transformed know. from the gimmick of the show somehow. So who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's gonna be combined true, with a. Bike. Maybe it's gonna be a bike lobster thing. <laughs> a crustacean, a crustacean vehicle. Who knows? Yeah, I mean, just it up. And it looks nice. Everything looks good. Uh, Gotchard himself is gonna make his, his uh, can make his cameo in the summer movie, as per tradition. Oh yeah, you really fucked that up. Uh, uh, yes, yes, I did. <laughs> uh, uh, and he, he'll make his official Jack debut Spike. around September third. Yep. Yeah. Jackson, question. Yes. Uh, does this bike technically qualify as a trans metal? <laughs> You got the one, one, that one by me, homie. That's it? Oh, wow. Yeah, I'll have to pick that later. Well, where did... And I'm where gonna did go to uh, and just, you're gonna be like a Soto figure? Soto's figures? Soonish? Uh, there's no images for them yet, but they do exist as a pre-order on Toga Collectibles. Yeah. And speaking of toys, we have a... Uh, Coming out of half typhoons uh, belt. Yeah, which is definitely not the V Street double typhoon. It's the he is used by Kamen Rider Zero Go from the Shin Kamen Rider movie. I did watch it, but I'm waiting for for Jack and the uh, Mochi to watch it too. It's on it's on Amazon Prime now, but I also available with on I'll our watch it. on our, our other thing. I watch it sometimes. I'll watch it sometime this week. I can promise you that. Thank you. I can only promise to try to watch it. Fair enough. Uh, we have a crossover with a thing called Puzzle and Dragons that has a, a comic and good. decade on it. Yeah, it's like a gotcha game, but with a puzzle. He's like, oh, can connect this row of blue things and these things. I'll be back in a moment. <laughs> I'll be back in a moment. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, Jack. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be back. Uh, well, while Enigma's gone, uh, there's a spoiler for Rise of the Beast in these figure reveals. Are you okay with that? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Well, I'm not going to spoil it right now. I was just saying it contains spoilers. I won't elaborate on it when we get to it. Yeah, sure. That's fine. Yeah, I'm also going to make a note that we're probably going to be taking a break at this point while he's doing whatever he needs to do. You just cut this part out? Yeah. Uh, I'm just going to put a timestamp here. Alright. Uh, Rock Lobster... Need. Is this what you mean about trans metal? Yeah, I was just joking, and then I remembered that image existed. Uh, I was not aware this image even existed in the first place. Uh, so thank you for having uh, this yeah. occupy brain space. 
You were the you're the one that sent it to me originally. I think. Was I? I I do I not so. remember seeing this picture at all in my life. You probably blocked it out of your memory. I probably have if I did. <laughs> but okay, I'm back. I discovered this place. Welcome back. I had to oh, I had to deal with dog for like a hot minute. Uh, what were you guys talking about? I was, I was dog. He was fine. He just wanted to go upstairs. He wanted me to be upstairs. So. All right. Uh, we'll get we'll get back to the uh, episode now. What were you talking about? Uh, he we the just... uh, picture he uh, posted. The lobster. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You sure? Yep. For like a. For a moment, I thought you were talking about a place. I don't know. Anyway, we'll get back to the episode now. And we're back. Just decided to take a little break there. Anyway, uh, where were uh, we? Uh, gotcha. We were on where were we? Comrade Puzzle Dragons. Yeah, the uh, Puzzle Dragon uh, crossover thing. Uh, yeah, it's a thing. Yeah. Honestly, been a thing, but now it has Kabuto and Decade. So that's on. And therefore, it is now better. Indeed. Yeah. I guess so. Anyway. I'll have to like, watch the fully uh, later. Anyway, uh, let's move over to Transformers. We have a lot because we had a uh, Comic Con. Yeah, it's like a, a lot of fucking shit. So, Let's buckle up our cups. We got a lot to talk about today. First off, we got like a helmet for Mirage, Optimus Primal. Uh, yeah, the, uh, the Primal one. The Primal one just looks cursed. I'm not gonna lie. Well, it's only cursed because it has this fucking mouse thing, and I hate it. Even though it's act is uh, even though it's accurate to like the original toy, I just keep it's just it's just a normal. It's just a mask cover. It's covered up. Imagine putting you the don't Mirage. Mask. Imagine putting the you Mirage mask. mask. Imagine putting the Mirage mask on, and suddenly you become uh, Pete Davidson. Oh, he was voiced by Pete I'd Davidson. A... Yep. I'd huh? be a... that. I did not. Okay, to be honest, at like a certain angle, I thought he was like a boombox or some shit, or like a <laughs> rice cooker head. Because, like, that, that handle in the back of his head. Honey, why aren't you eating your, your rice from the uh, from the Mirage rice cooker? It looks like a Mirage. It's not rice a real. beast. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it just like that handle. I can't just, like, drag this head around like GameCube. That's okay, freaking you, thing. You heard the man kill her body. Uh... We don't want we don't want helmets anymore. More we want appliances. <laughs> just 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 the rise of the beast mirage, but it's actually GameCube in secret. Just pop it, just pop up in his head, just slide in a GameCube disc. Imagine playing your Zelda Wind Waker in the Mirage head. If only that's the dream. Anyway, uh, moving on, we have uh, we have. Studio Series. Comic-Con. We have Studio Series uh, Ultra Magnus this time as a Commander class. Thoughts? Let me one moment. He looks all right. He looks like has. He looks like he looks like a Hasbro toy. Yeah, like this is from the movie. Yeah. I mean, I think it looks okay. fine. It looks fine. You look better than Kingdom One, anyway. Yeah, he comes with like yeah. uh, the matrix of leadership. <laughs> Damn it! Open. Yeah. Nice car carry overall. We also have a uh, pretty neat one here. We have Nova Prime, Amazon exclusive. Hmm. This one's a uh, retool of the uh, Cybertron Optimus we had back in Siege. Yep. Oh, uh, also one note about, the two notes about Magnus. He uh, apparently has a spring-loaded matrix chamber, and 
is all of his fingers are individually articulated with bendable knuckles. Oh, nice. And also his um, car carrier mode. Car carry mode can hold uh, three deluxes in one core class. Nice. Yeah, I saw. Yeah, I'm going off like so, the press conference it, images right now, so it looks all, it looks yeah. nice. In terms of uh, Nova Prime right here, he looks like an angel, no. like a, a Christian warrior type type deal here. I mean, he is a villain, but yeah. No, ah, evil Christian, yeah. of course. He's also, he's also, he's also uh, Nemesis Prime in one continuity. This what? is true. Wait, he's never this prime in this continuity? Well, he, Are you going to get this guy? He, he he said he's a nemesis prime in a continuity. Is it, does that count? Is he going to go into your collection, Mochi? Good question, is he? Yes, unfortunately. <laughs> of course he is, okay. J just because of the comic, you, you're obliged to buy him now. Yeah, I, I actually had... Um, uh, kind of discussion in my own head this week. If I was like, does Rise of the Beast Scourge count as a nemesis slash Black Convoy? I think you asked me that. Named Scourge. I, I think you asked me yeah, that I a few days like, ago. Yeah, and I was like, one thing can I afford to do this? The answer is always so I decided that question was relevant. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> he does, I think. No. So, I guess I'm doing that. Fuck my life. Just watch Tried the second... To. Just watch the second you buy us Nova Prime, they're going to release an another one as Nemesis Prime in the Dark Colors. Mm. Jack, I swear to God. Look, this this, this ain't me just out. this ain't me willing things into existence. You just know it's going to happen. Well, I even advise you just wait. You sit on this for like a hot minute because it looks like an Amazon exclusive. If the Amazon logo is anything to go by. Uh, that's. I'm not gonna be able to sit on it because he's Amazon exclusive. Yeah, if he if he doesn't get it now, it's eventually gonna be a three hundred dollar eBay exclusive. Yeah, fair point. <laughs> fair point. Oh uh, yeah, it looks nice. You know how you always... Enigma, you know how you always say uh, that things are gone. Anything that's Amazon exclusive is just gone. <laughs> I think yeah, okay for a point. The the one Amazon exclusive I have is my uh, is my Skywarp, and I'm lucky to have got him when I did. Yeah, that's fair. I do have later well, Prime too. The good thing about that, Jack, is that if you ever need to pay your hospital bills or anything, you have a Skywarp. Yep, that I do. For you. Uh, anyway, uh, we have Powerlink's Hot Shot with a Jolt. Not Powerlink's Jolt, unfortunately, if you're, like, hoping for that. Yeah, he has the coloring of the original Hot Shots version's Jolt, which is a uh, more gr uh, orange color, when the uh, Powerlink's Jolt would be more of a yellow color, but hey, whatever. It still, works with that. it still works with Hot Shots, so... It works with the original, so yeah. The thing about the Powerlink's Hot Shot is that I don't know how they would... Get or the um, Powerlink's Jolt. Anyway, watch it be like a Japanese uh, store campaign exclusive or something. What, for a Powerlink's like Jolt? Natural Pulse. Oh, Powerlink's Jolt. Yeah. Probably. Probably. All things he does are probably. Um, anyway, uh, based... But yeah. Considering what Powerlink's Hot Shot's based off on, he might just be my uh, Hot Rod uh, replacement that got broke. Did your Fair. kid break it, or was it something else? Uh, the kid broke it. Oh, of course he did. Yeah. There also seems to like to be like this ominous figure in the box art. Some code head, code oh. head looking, look, code head looking plane over there. Thank you for um, reminding me of that enigma. Yeah. Well, I was like, let me get back to the chat. Here. Yeah. Uh, Jack, do you know who that is? That enigma was just talking about. Do I know? You didn't like the box art of the Powerlink's hotshot. Hold up. He's a yeah, look. Oh, well, oh, I, oh I have, is that Dirge? I have his... Uh, no. It's Weezing Arrow. Weezing Arrow, <laughs> of all things? 
That's his name? Yes. Weaving Arrow? Yeah. I'm not going to take this man to die. I'm not going to take that robot seriously. Uh, I'll, I'll Weaving know if it's, Arrow. I don't know if it's just how, like, the picture of the box here, but that looks like Dirge to me. You're in denial, Jack. Uh, I guess you know I you am. are. I mean, it's a secret mold, so I would have been in denial anyway. Doesn't hail more copium, it's you'll not, be it's fine. The <laughs> it's the Earthrise one, though, so you're safe. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, well, no, I'm not safe because we also have Legacy Nacelle from the Siege Mold. Ah, shit, where is that? <laughs> uh, yeah, so, uh, another figure I'm required by law to get, unfortunately. Nacelle? Where uh, is that? Although, although, thankfully, this one yeah, may can... actually be a re uh, actual regular retail release. No. It's Amazon exclusive. I really hope you're fucking with me right now. I'm trying to find it. I can't Not find it. With... What? Enigma. It's in the tweet. It's on. It's that one. Then you click on the yeah, link in the tweet. And it'll take you I'm looking for it right now. I can't find it. Ah, okay. oh, shit. Wait, I found it. Never mind. I'm an yeah, idiot. Yeah. Anyways, Jack. Jack, you were going to say. Uh, is, is it actually a Amazon? Yeah, it has the Amazon logo in the corner. Yeah. Lovely. Warrior yeah, Nacelle, Amazon. and I'm something exclusive, so, uh, give Jack a chance if you're hearing this, you know? Uh, my sanity, I swear. Get, get uh, the in now, boy. Uh, yeah, I think no, no Nacelle here looks pretty, uh, pretty nice. I like how the, uh, the vehicle mode really, com really compacts itself. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Really nice. Uh, nice. Uh, also, we have a uh, two pack of uh, Shattered Glass, Sideswipe, and Whisper, and well, technically it's a three pack because of a minicon, but Shattered Glass, Sideswipe, Whisper, and Hot Rod. Yeah. Looks pretty good. Uh, what's sure. interesting is that this Hot Rod figure. This hot rod figure actually already found its way into the hands of Koreans a few months ago. Really? Because it just randomly appeared. Yeah, it appeared in like plastic baggies in secondhand thrift shops in Korea. It like randomly manifests it itself. Oh, there we go. That's just one of the weirdest things I've ever seen. Just before he even hit regular shells. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. I didn't really know his whisper initially, but he looks okay. Um, Sideswipe looks like a retool of the Toxitron colors. Meanwhile, Roy Rodimus here. He looks like the Nemesis Prime equivalent of uh, Hot Rod. That's basically, basically what Basically that is. is. Yeah, four figures on fire. And, uh, okay. on that, and on that uh, Sideswipe, it's actually just a recolor of the uh, Siege figure, I think. Uh, okay. Actually, just have different. Actually, just have different dueling. Oh, does it? Whoa! The uh, slash across the chest. the slash in the chest is actually a mole. Oh, tail. Neat. neat. And the head, oh. and, and the head, neat. head is different. I think. Neat. Huh. Neat. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, neat. we're going to get. Uh, and then we're going to get that probably as Armada Universe Wheel Jack at some point. Probably. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, with the. With the correct head. Yeah. Uh, Let's see. We uh, have this giant ass combiner here. Minasaur yeah. combiner gift pack. Yes, uh, we have Minasaur want... as a uh, as a uh, collector box thing. Uh, so if you missed out on your Minasaur, you can now get all the boys. Yes. Yeah. Yep. These are. In a... You get crack strip, wild rider. Dead end and breakdown all in one set, along with Wotor Master here. Yep. My yep. figures and combine all uh, of them into one big motherfucker. Uh, why did you believe this is going to be four hundred dollars for some reason? Jeez. Oh, of course it is. Of course it fucking is. I was thinking three hundred dollars, but goddamn. 
Of course, it's fucking. Is. Uh, I, sh I should note. I, sh I should note that that's not confirmed, but a lot of people are saying gonna be four hundred. I don't know where they got that from. I'm not sure if I trust that number. Maybe I want to make it very clear that. I really hope I'm not. I really hope it's not accurate, and we don't know that it's accurate. But like this is, this is four doxes and a commander, so it should be at like two hundred. Right. Yeah, that makes sense to me. I'll, like uh, I said, I was thinking three hundred. I'm go I'm gonna go ahead and guess as uh, because of all the cynicism. But okay. Uh, uh, I think you guys explained to me that how this works is that they. They, they, he just Motormaster here just basically wears the other four like armor. Pretty much. Yep. Yeah. Looks neat. Uh, we also have our uh, next crossover, this time with Stranger Things. Oh, uh, yeah, Pizza Boy. Hello. Server uh, Boy Pizza. I was a few months ago, we did an episode where just some code names were revealed for collaborative. One of them. <clears throat> Project Waffle. We said which. What? Oh, how about now? Yeah, yeah you're fine now. All right. Uh, but yeah, a couple months ago, there was some collaborative code names leaked. And I joking, Stranger Things, thinking it was a joke. Uh, it turned out to not be a joke. <laughs> you will. You will to existence. Yeah, I need to stop doing that. <laughs> Yeah, Don't keep uh, doing it. Maybe it'll manifest uh, Ara Black Arachnia, the animated one. Who knows? I'm good. I don't have mine. I'm happy. Yeah, it's uh, kind of a funky one there. Uh, was I expecting Stranger Things to have a crossover? <laughs> Neither yeah, was I. I thought it ended, really. Oh, wait, uh, wait a second. I, mean, I was going to say... Uh, they typically only do collaboratives with like 80s and 90s franchises, but I guess Stranger Things is a franchise based off of the 80s, so. Fair enough, I guess. Out of there. Here. He checks out. Uh, but yeah, this is based off of uh, Argyle's P Surfer Boy Pizza Van from season 4. Uh, comes with an, like Energon versions of Steve's. Bat and Joyce's axe. Joyce's axe is kind of a weird inclusion because it was only in like two scenes, and neither of which are very memorable. But well, but I do like how the how the sign becomes the shoulder cannon. That's hilarious. That is actually that, great. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Not bad. Not bad uh, at all. Also, I'm not sure if this is correct or not, but based on the image, it looks like you can load the cannon. What? Oh, uh, you broke up there. Oh, sorry. I said, I'm not sure this is correct, but based off of the images, that we'll... clip. You. It cut off after you said it looks. Uh, it looks like you can load the pizza box into the can like an ammo. Oh, if he can load the pizza box in there, that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Um, also, uh, also the, uh, the the effect looks like it's very accurately based off of the fire VFX. With the um, uh, blue to orange gradient, so that's pretty cool. Nice. This yeah, appears to share some engineering. SS86, Ironhide, and or Ratchet. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. I initially thought this was like Rise of the Beast wheel attack, uh, from first glance, but then uh, I adjusted accordingly. Yeah, it does. Wasn't because the man looks like wheel attacks, vehicle mode in the movie. Yeah, I, I can see where the engineering may come from. from uh... From uh, Iron Eyed. Yeah. Now my question is, uh, when can we get an animated? An animated what? what? An animated ratchet. Oh yes, please. Mm -hmm. Actually, with with honestly, uh, if it if it just retools with this, then I'll be fine with it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm not really sure where the came from. It's based off of like a mashup of different things. The what helmet is... itself, I'm not sure about. The uh, uh, nice. the the mic is just kind of there because Dustin used a headset in like one scene. I want to say kind of feels like is... they're grasping for. Sure. I, I'm just I, I just want to think of it like he just wears that to get orders. You know, pizza That's orders. 
Yeah. You have pizza responsibility as the surfer boy. Um, one thing I thought was weird is that they didn't really pack in any little figurines with this, because they usually do that with collaboratives. Mm. Or the small but well, not that important. Uh, uh, also, I just wanted to run this. Wanted to run run this by, but uh, w- wouldn't this make more sense as like a TMNT? A TMNT crossover. Like, oh yeah, it does look like the the turtle the turtle yeah. truck shell tr- shell tank. I mean, they exactly. always could do that. Uh, looks like the TMNT is actually getting a bit of notoriety lately. So I mean, they could do that. Yeah, they're getting a new animated movie. So not a- also, notably, yeah. TMNT has actually crossed over has actually crossed over with Stranger Things before, so yeah, Power yeah, Rangers. There's no excuse for it. Uh, also, this I don't, I don't I don't understand why this character is kind of random to me. Ah. All right. Uh, oh. so oh, next thing, uh, um, next thing we have uh. The shoujo is added again by making uh, characters waifus. This time with the uh, Seekers, Starscream, Thundercracker, and Skywarp got the waifu treatment. Mmm. Yep. You all look also, the why same are the other one... Stream. Also, why are the other two wearing pants and Starscream isn't? Sex appeal. Probably some kind yeah, of cast player's reference. <laughs> Probably a Kiss Players reference. You shut Possibly. your trash mouth. <laughs> you know what I'm uh, talking about. Yeah. Also, so how about, I have a proposal. Uh, how about we just stop talking about this one because it's making me uncomfortable. <laughs> okay, Victory Desaurus. All right, let's talk about Victory Desaurus here. Yes, we got more what stuff with uh, Desaurus. Echo Master Model. Looks pretty good. Uh, look, yeah, looks we very one also. Uh, the the oh. legacy two pack of uh, Javelin and Cascade. Oh yeah, those are coming oh. out as well. Yeah, I like these two. Amazon uh, exclusive, I think. Which are based off of uh, yeah, pretty old molds actually. Really? Uh, Siege, Siege Chromia and SSA six RC RC is pretty recent to be fair. Oh yeah, yeah. Where she is good I mean. Uh, where those Sorry, not SSA six. I meant SS Bumblebee. Is that to say? Mm-hmm. SS wow. Bumblebee. Okay. Well, yeah. were those good molds though? Uh, uh, they're okay, I guess. Ah, Chromia, Chromia is a bit funky, but the RC one's pretty good. Yeah. Oh, good. Which one's the RC one? Cascade. Yeah. Cool. The one with the smaller back. Oh. Okay. Yeah, that mold's pretty solid, and like you said, the uh, Chromium mold was uh, a bit funky there. But nothing bad. Yeah. I think they look pretty good overall. Not to mention the Chromium mold is just like a a retooled version of a power of the character, so. It's a mold that has has truly not left us. It will never leave us. Apparently not. Even though I don't think we've seen that in like, what, three years? Hmm. Something like that. Oh well. I think the last use of it before this was the uh, Netflix free paint of Chromio. That or um, uh, Nightbird. Hmm. I don't know. I think they look all right based on these images here. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I'm just uh, glad that we have more ID, more IDW universe characters. Right. Yeah, that's pretty cool to see. Um. Okay. Uh, question, guys. Do you like having money? Yeah. No. I hate. Okay. Well, congratulations, Mochi, because you for seventeen hundred dollars you can get a auto transforming Grimlock by Robozin. Oh, cool. Now, in nice. fairness, in fairness, this one does look pretty great compared to the Optimus. He does. He does. Uh, so who needs to pay rent? You can just get a auto auto transforming Grimlock with uh, voices. Also, um, one thing I thought was kind of weird is like uh, Grimlock doesn't in the G one cartoon he doesn't. Really... 
he doesn't speak in full sentences. He just he's he's kind of talks like a caveman. Yeah, like a stereotypical caveman. Yeah. Uh, This has like, but this figure has like weirdly violent and full spoken voice lines for some reason, and the voice also doesn't match at all. Yeesh. Oh. Yeah, that is weird. He literally says, one of the voice lines is literally, it's extinction time. And I'm just like, did the guys who make Morbius... It's more did of a the guy. guys who made Morbius make a dialogue clip for this? Man, when he extinct all over like... the place, the theater lost it. Yeah. When he locked his grip all over the place, everyone lost it. <laughs> Fuck you, unlocks your grim. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, if you happen to have uh, $1,700 to spare, you can get that Grimlock. Yeah. So I uh, hope you don't need to <laughs> eat or... Uh, so I hope you don't need to eat or uh, pay rent. We forgot the most important legacy figure. We... we forgot to mention okay. Deluxe Max, the most important one. Oh yeah, Max has been seen. Uh... Canada. In Canada. Uh, Enigma handed over. No. You, you know the mission, Enigma. You understand. Yes. You understand the assignment. Yes, I do. Yep. I just and don't care about the <laughs> Like, where? What is Max, Max from anyway? Uh, uh, rescue Res- bots. Oh. Huh. Okay. Also, uh, 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 I had a stroke for a second, sir. Uh, Transformers Buzzword will be uh, Studio Series Optimus, or Rise of the Beast Optimus, has been spotted at uh, U.S. Target. That's a oh, mouthful of so name. That is now out. Yep. Pretty much, yeah. Sure is. It looks, it looks good, though. Believe it, or not, I, I, believe it or not, I actually condensed the name a little bit for the sake of the. <laughs> oh, it's longer? You want to try it's, it? What, what, hold on a I mean, he could put like try it, Voyager just... class. Uh, yeah, uh, eighteen words <laughs> is the full name. <laughs> do it, Howard. Uh, okay. Uh, let let me no, see if I let me see if I can uh, do this. Okay, Studio Series a hundred and uh, was it a hundred and two? Yeah, 102. 102, Voyager Class, uh, Rise of the Beast, Optimus Prime, uh, Buzzworld with the Bumblebee. I do it faster. Yeah, that... You were a little confused, but you got the spirit. Uh, Is that basically all the words there, though? Yeah, all the words are there, yes. Okay, let let, let me try to fix this. Transformers, Buzzworthy Bumblebee, Studio Series, uh... 102, Voyager Class, Rise of the Beast, Optimus Prime. Yes, correct. Okay. Yeesh. Fair enough. Um, anyway. Uh, okay, well, apparently we're starting to get into, like, anime names here. So, uh, moving really? on. We got Nemesis Prime here. We do have a we Nemesis spark- Prime statue. Yes, from that's based on the Rise of the Beast design of Optimus Prime. You didn't need to pay rent today, did you, Mochi? Yeah, I already know how much it costs. Don't remind me. <laughs> how much does it yeah. cost? Probably a lot. It's it's several thousand dollars. Of course it does. It's As, a giant fucking statue. Dear Lord. Okay, let 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 me uh, uh let me uh. Let me rephrase that. You didn't need to pay rent or need all your organs, do you? No, I guess not. <laughs> I don't need a pancreas. Well, okay. Uh, well, yeah, I kind of thought this was since it's from Yellow Park. I thought it was just a, a repaint of uh, Rise of the Beast Optimus model kit, but it's not. It is a statue that's almost as tall as I am. Good lord. As in Monkey. probably, as in probably uh, taller than me, because I'm only, I'm a uh, five three manlet. You're in chicken nuggets. I keep forgetting that I'm, 
Yeah, that's true. That's true. Mm. Uh, for for the no, this is prime body pillow one. When... <laughs> Uh, hey, where are you? What you anyways, you're saying? Uh, yeah, for the uh, for the audience who hasn't heard it before, yes, I'm extremely short. Wait, how tall are you? Five three. Oh, cool. Yep. What about you, Moji? Uh, five eight. Uh, I thought you were like five I six. Forgot, I forgot how tall I am. I am, but I'm probably close to Mochi. I thought you were like five six. The point is we can both shove Jack. The point is we can both shove Jack down the toilet. Oh good, you can thump him in a locker. Oh god, it's high school all over again. It never happened in high school, you know it. <laughs> you good? Uh, my lockers were too short in for me, so I'm good. Yeah, we don't have lockers oh. available. We could definitely stuff you in a closet if need be. This is true. Yes. And yes, there is a there is a stool at the ready um, at my place. A stool. Mm, that's fair. Because because both me and my girlfriend are the same height, and there's also a six year old who lives with us. So I mean, none of us are exactly tall. Fair enough. Yeah, that's fair. What else do we have to talk about? Um, do uh, we have any other sure Transformer have... news that I'm missing? Uh, I think we got through everything. I'm trying to do that out anyway. Oh, hey, now something. All right, go ahead. I'm still opening it. Excuse my poor. It happens. One day, one day, you'll get better internet. Probably never. Uh, oh yeah, um, the uh, SSA six frenzy. They have confirmed that frenzy is the red one. Hooray! Oh my god, the exo suit, right? How haven't they uh, haven't they uh, like mixed that up in the last releases for Frenzy and Rumble? Oh yeah, we forgot Nightbird yeah, too. Have, but it's... Oh boy, okay. It was... Yeah, SSA Six Ratchet is a uh, uh, shock of all shocks, a re a re minor retool of Ironhide. Who's... Um, I may have some breaking news. Yo. Oh, I'm posting it now. Do you? Yeah. Huh. Okay, hold on. Oh, this shit. Honestly, the, the rumors around the Terminator A writers are just bizarre. So, I guess this is a rumor, but there's apparently a leaked scan of Common Rider Gorgeous Decade. Okay, look. I mean, if, if not if wrong. Actually, okay, look. If they actually get a decade for this, you better be a teacher for a Godchurch. Oh, yeah, we did go over the, the plot summary for that guy. And we'll go over we'll go over after we finish Transformer stuff. Uh, unless, uh, Mochi's got anything else, I think we are finished. Okay, well, uh, we, we forgot to mention, like, we forgot to mention Nightbird here. Oh, yeah, there's a Studio yeah, Series Studio. Nightbird. Yeah, we forgot to mention some stuff. There's so much stuff with this press conference. There usually uh, we is. got, we'll, you know what, we'll, we'll go over Studio later. I mean, we can, like, speed run it. Yeah. There's, like, there's Studio Series Nova Wake, Nova Kane. I think this was mentioned a while oh, back, but now it's like an actual image of him in his stances. It's basically just a, a recall or a freezer. Uh, um, Nightbird seems to be basically a uh, more complicated upscale of um, uh, the mainline version. Exosuit is um, basically just like a different version of the Sam Witwicky suit from earlier. That's it. Uh, on the common Rider. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. All right. Well, let me just try to find, try to find like this plot summary for Gotchard. Uh, I remember the uh, essential plot. Basically, he is a high school alchemist. Yeah, he's named Hotaru Ichinose. It's in his name, fame, name form is Steam Hopper. 
Uh, him being a uh, alchemist, I better not see any Edward jokes in the comments, or I will end somebody. Hmm. Yeah, all right, dude. I think you're missing the the bigger picture, which is which is what? Yeah. What is it? Or which is which is breaking bad jokes? I'd be more worried about those. Let Bro. him let him cook. Oh, finish. Oh, Taro, we must cook. Ah, uh, Jesus. Ah, uh, yeah, what, was, what have we got here? Chemis? Yeah, this is like, this is like when Blade, where all the, uh, what, the, uh, all those, all those monsters have got released from the cards, and now the main quest is, like, to seal them all back up into their cards and use their powers. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, the gimmick is based off a uh, actual card game in his world. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Yeah, we and now we know for sure that that some guy named Tasaki Ryuta is directing. Uh, I did hear I did hear some stuff from this guy, and as far as I know, he worked on various Tokusatsu projects. Not as a main, not just not as a head, just not. I may be confusing it with the head writer. Uh, right, hopefully he'll be fine. Hope so. Hmm. Yep. I I just know that the uh, costume is awesome. Yeah, it looks better in motion. Yeah. So uh, hopefully, got sure would be good. Um. Any last thoughts, my friends? I do want to say that I won't immediately watch Godchard when it comes out. Maybe episode one, but I do I do plan to like watch. Comrade Ryuki, Comrade Kabuto, and Comrade Decade, because those three have a similar protagonist as well. Also, Gaim. Basically, those four, uh, Ryuki, Gaim, Kabuto, Decade, they have like similar elements that are found in Geats, and I want to compare those shows to Geats okay. for my own amusement. Fair enough. All right. Uh. In terms of comics, uh, I'll probably read Hyperforce. Uh, I think you guys want to, re to read, like, the Void Rivals thing. Oh, yeah, the uh, new Transformers comic. That's another thing. Uh, we are works. Void Rivals is, uh, I believe, either coming out soon or already out. Which is going to be it's... the first in a, in the new uh, comic book uh, continuity. Is it? it doesn't oh, look like uh, I'm glad you said I'm glad you said yeah, that. Um, uh, I forgot to mention. Uh, uh, they have confirmed that they're uh, reprinting for for now into the future. Uh, you cut what? you cut out there, but I'm assuming you're talking about IDW. Yeah. What are they reprinting? Right. Okay, I see. Just what? cool. Yep. Nice. Uh, no one else had anything interesting? Or anything mm. interesting happen? Yeah, do you guys have any rewatches you got planned for yourself? Uh, I'm trying to go through uh, Ben 10 again. Yeah? Uh, other than that, I got really I nothing said, going on. I think you said you started mm. with Alien Force, right? Yeah. Because cause, uh, everything past the original series is the stuff I remember the least about. Yeah? Yeah, I have, a pre I have a pretty decent memory of the original series. It's everything after that that I'm not too familiar with. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Um, I had a weird experience growing up because I, I was like two when the, first, when the first episode of the classic series premiered, so basically... I'm the same Classic age. reruns at the same time. I am the same. I would be the same age as Ben is. Oh, you were ten, huh? Yeah, I was actually ten when the show came out. It was an actual Ben Ten day, apparently. Nice. Does like oh. everything just seem to align correctly? Where everything was just ten. The date, the year, the fucking time it debuted. Oh. Crazy. It will never happen again, out. but well, what's funny? Yeah. Um, 
Oh yeah, I, I, I won my first eBay auction. Nice. Oh, what do you get? Uh, only because nobody else bid, and I bid one cent, and then eBay proceeded to forget to charge me for the. <laughs> what do you guys tell us? It's fine. Uh, we're. I'll show you pictures when it actually arrives, but uh, it's very sad. They were just it was just McDonald's stuff. <laughs> because me and a friend, another friend, me and another friend from Canada are like trading all of the Beast Wars stuff. <laughs> Because for some reason, he just really wants those five original Beast Wars characters from the McDonald's line. And really? McDonald's toys can so be collectible. Funky. Yeah, basically that's just sort of my payment for it. Uh, <laughs> I, forget they're, they're, I think they're literally just called what their animals were. Mm. Yes, Gorilla uh, is Mantra. my favorite character. Well, it's the, the weird one is Rhino, because not only is he uh, alt mode is Rhinox, but he's only one. Mm. Uh, but anyways, the reason I'm doing all of this is because one of them is under three, which is just like this folding lion head thing that's technically a nemesis. Huh. Is nemesis Prime? Wow, this Nemesis Prime rabbit hole really I'm goes doing... deep. Yeah, it does. It does, trust me. Uh... But basically, this is this turned into like a long IRL equivalent of like that long chain of fetch of fetch quest in an RPG, except just Hilarious. very boring. Nice. Oh man. Yeah. Sorry, sorry to hear, but hopefully um, both at the end. Yeah. Anyways, uh, if that's all. Uh, yeah, if that's it, uh, I think we are done for this episode. So, if you enjoy watching the episode, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Uh, once again, I'm Jack. I'm Enigma. I'm a... And we will I'm see a... you. And we will see you next time. Take it easy and stay beautiful. Peace. Good night.